Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create your first Maven project in your NetBeans IDE. So let's get started. First of all, open your NetBeans IDE and just click this file uh, option here. And then we will uh, just choose the new project option. And in here you will be able to find the Maven category. Okay. So just choose the Maven category here. And then choose this Java application, which is the first option here. You can choose uh, other type of uh, options here, for example, Java FX or web application or other, uh, you know, other type of payment project. But for simplicity, we are choosing the first one, which is Java application, right? Which is a bare bone project. Now click next. And in here, we are going to give the project name to our uh, Maven project. And this will be the artifact ID of uh, our project also. Now, artifact ID is a uh, name for your project. For example, JUnit has the artifact ID JUnit itself. So, whatever name you give here, it will be the artifact ID of your project. So, for example, Maven hyphen demo and you can see the artifact id of my project is also same as the project name now the second option here is the group id so the group id is uh, for example you have uh, some uh, company or uh, you are working for some company and its website name is codebind.com so group id should be the reverse for example of that so in here we have uh, com dot code bind right or for example uh, you have uh, java dot org so here you will write org dot java for example right and it's going to create the package for you according to this uh, group id now third option here is the version now version here by uh, default it's 1.0 and after hyphen this snapshot keyword is added to your version and this means that your uh, project is in development mode. So whenever you are developing it's a good practice to add this keyword which is snapshot and this indicates that you are developing your project or your project is in development mode and once the project is uh, you know in the re release mode you can just remove the snapshot keyword from here this last option is uh, optional so you can uh, keep it or you can uh, you know you don't need to keep it it's just optional so uh, let's keep it so my uh, project name was maven demo right so it's uh, creating the package something like this com dot code bind which comes from group id and then uh, dot maven dot demo which comes from the project name okay so i'm going to just click finish here and it's going to create me a maven project now in here I can see uh, this source packages and uh, some dependencies but all of them are blank for now and also I can see uh, some Java dependency and the project files. So let's open our pom.xml for now and right now uh, in the pom.xml we have our group id which we have given which is com.codebind and our artifact id which we have given which is maven demo and the version which is 1.0 snapshot right and the packaging of it by default it's a jar but you can uh, change the packaging of your uh, maven project later also you just need to change this jar to for example var or any other option okay so this is the pom.xml file right POM uh, stands for project object model and it's uh, really important to uh, you know know about uh, the details of POM.xml because it's the you know basic building block I can say of uh, Maven right now for example I want to add a source files to my uh, project so 
I will just go to my source package here and then I will just go to new and in here I am going to create a new Java class and for the Java class I am going to give the name as for example app okay and uh, you can see it's inside the maven demo project which is uh, inside our source packages so we are creating a source uh, you know source class so it's inside the source package and for the package you can choose the default package here which is com.codebind.maven.demo which is our package name and you can see the created file will be uh, on this path so you have this uh, project so this will be the project and then inside the source uh, directory you will be having the main then the java folder then com then codebind then maven then demo and inside the demo you will be having this app.java class so for now i'm going to copy this path and we are going to uh, you know see the location later for example so just copy this path and just click finish and after you click finish you can see here this app.java is created inside our com.codebind.maven.demo uh, package, right? So now let's open uh, this location where it's created. So open your uh, Windows Explorer and just paste this path up to your project name. So inside my NetBeans project, I have this Maven demo project. So I'm going to just copy and paste the path of this here and I'm going to open it so you can see you have this uh, pom.xml file and you have this source file here right inside the source file you have the main then java then com codebind maven demo and your app.java uh, class here right now for example you want to add uh, uh, the test files how you can do it so for creating the test class you just need to click on your project and then uh, go to new and go to others and in here you will be able to see uh, JUnit here you can see unit test and uh, in the unit tests category you can see JUnit test right so just choose this and then click next and in here also you just need to give the name of your uh, class so i'm going to just name it as app test because it's a test uh, class right and it's inside the maven demo package and the uh, location will be the test package right and uh, the package name i can also give here right now it says default package but i can just give uh, the package name same as uh, i have uh, given for the for example uh, my source files right so for example here i can give com dot code bind dot uh, maven dot demo right this was uh, the same uh, package name i have given for my source file right and in here leave everything as default for now and then click finish and you can see in the test packages it has created uh, us the test class inside the same package name right so let's open the folder structure once again and we will go to the maven demo once again and inside our src folder now you have main folder which contains our source file and you have the test folder which contains our test files so you can go to test java com codebind maven demo and you have this class here okay now once you added this uh, test uh, class it uses junit right so when you go to pom.xml you will be able to see this dependency which is automatically added to your pom.xml file right so this is due to uh, this uh, class which we have added so if you remove this dependency 
then it's going to remove this test dependency also. So you can see there is one more test dependency uh, folder is created for us and in here Maven has automatically downloaded these two jar files. One is JUnit 4.12 and second is Hamcrest which is the dependency for JUnit. So that's why it has also added this one also, right? So if you remove uh, this dependency, for example, I'm going to remove this and I'm going to save my project. These uh, test dependency will also be deleted. You see, there is no uh, jar file for our JUnit now and now it's showing the error, right? So once again, when I add in my pom.xml this uh, dependency for uh, the J unit, then it's going to let's see what happens. So save it and you can see the dependency is automatically downloaded and then added to your test dependencies and then you don't have any error. Now to uh, compile your project, what you need to do is you just need to right click on your project and there is a option here which says custom and then choose the goals. Now there are different uh, goals possible for uh, your Maven uh, project. For example, if you want to compile your project, you just need to write here compile, which is the normal option. Just write compile, right? And it's going to compile your project. So when I write compile here and click OK, in the Maven build here, you can see it's uh, building your project. And you can see this message which says build success. This means that your uh, source files are compiled successfully. Now there is one more goal. For example, you want to run your test. Go to the custom goals and here just write test which will run your test. So just click OK and it's going to run your test and it's going to run test after running the test. Is going to show this message which says build success right there is one more command which is for compiling your test so just go custom goals and this time just write test compile so just test hive compile and then click ok and then it's going to uh, you know compile your test and then it will show you the result which is build success now in order to create a jar file out of your project, you just need to right click on your project, go to custom goals and in here you just need to write install which is going to create the jar file for your project. So just choose install here and click ok. So it's going to compile your uh, source file, test file, it's going to run your tests and then it's going to create a jar file for your project so just wait for some time and then once it's finished you can see the jar file which will be created for your project so let's go to our project once again which is maven demo and you can see there is a one more folder which is created here which is target and inside the target you will be able to see the jar file created for your project which is maven demo this is the standard format in which this jar file will be created which is maven hyphen demo which is the artifact id then hyphen the version of your project and then dot the package type of your project which is jar in our case right in here you have all the test classes and uh, surefire classes and in here you have uh, maven archiver and other things which can be learned later but in this video i just wanted to uh, show you how you can create your maven project and build it right now if you uh, you know run the clean command this target uh, will be deleted so see this target for now and then when i run the clean command so go to custom goals just write clean here and then run it and once this uh, command is successful we will see here 
that your target folder will be deleted. So it deletes the target folder once you run the clean command. So in this way, you can create a Maven project inside your NetBeans IDE. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe and bye.